uh, how you feel about uh paint sip? Oh, you yeah, let's do a paint sip. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I got plenty of paint. You want to bring the wine? You know what I'm saying? Bring your favorite wine. I'll supply you with the paint. Man, how many, it was ridiculous of how many yeses <laughs> I got with that. And you still can get a yes with that. Because a lot of you all are in this kick to where you want to do the whole pain sip thing. Y'all love y'all wine. So uh, it cost me $1,000 to do that. And if I just should, that it cost me a thousand dollars, and I got a ton of paint. I could, I got probably enough paint to last quite a few years. It cost me a thousand bucks, and if I just show up with paint, you bring the wine, and we don't have to have no food or anything else. You see how easy that setup is? <laughs> because y'all love it. On top of the fact, all I got to do is say. Yeah, invite a couple of your girls. You know, y'all sit and chill, you know what I'm saying? Blah, blah, blah. I teach you how to paint. Man, that trap is so smooth. <laughs> it's so smooth. Which is why I say it's easy. It's easy for you to get God to be the the one cow giving up the milk for free. You don't even realize that you just got set up. You don't. going on is wheel my craving come to you another day with another video hit that like share and subscribe button feel free to leave a comment uh and hopefully you're having a wonderful day uh let's get right on into this one um for the women out there there's a question that um you all might want to know the answer to does he want the milk or the cow so, you know, there's a statement about uh, why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free. So, yeah, well, considering you all would be considered the cow, um, and he's getting the milk from you, um, why does he have to pay for it if he's getting it for free? Well. There's a lot of things that now go into that where it's a little bit different now, 20 years later. Um, yeah, at least 20 years later. So, if he has access to you, that would mean he gets whatever. And if he's not married to you, that means he's getting it for free. Well, in this day and age... You know, you we, we have this conversation, which I did a video all about body count. If you're not concerned with your body count, he's getting it for free. <laughs> so, if he's if you're allowing him to raise your body count, and he finds this information out, why would he pay for it? So, so that we, as a guy, we look at it as you're like similar. Well, my one guy calls it a dented can. You ain't nothing but a dented can. Who wants to buy a dented can? You don't buy dented cans. That that's my one guy. He always talks about it in that regard. Uh, other guys, I know we, we look at it like buying a car. Um, if you've been used and you've been driven around quite a bit, um, <clears throat> only guys who uh, <clears throat> can't afford to buy a new car or have not solidified themselves, will buy a used car. That's how we look at it. So it's like, why would I buy a used car? It's been used. I don't know what's going, what's going to break down with it. That means now I got to be more concerned about the maintenance that's about to happen because there are going to be so many, so many more issues on top of the fact that I'm now getting it discounted. Well, Getting discounted with me and I really can't afford it. So why would I want to do all that? So that's how some of us view it as. 
Um, honestly, I view it as it's it, you're used. <laughs> you just it's just it just is what it is. You're used. So anything that's used, you're running the risk of it breaking on you. And and do I really want to run the risk of of breaking it? So it's kind of like how me and a, a, a couple of brothers of mine we always we say we don't buy used electronics <laughs> because when you buy used electronics, it, you're taking a real great risk of that thing breaking down very swiftly. You have no control over the used electronics because. It's, it's just a whole different ball game with these electronics. So we look at the fact that, oh, okay, that guy just came behind you and this guy just came behind you. Well, what happens is she starts having a moment where she's feeling the previous guy all over again. Or she's going through her little mood swings and when you all act like the weather, you change this minute and then you're back this minute. It's like, no, who wants to deal with that? that that's That's... That's nothing about, nothing about that says I'm insecure. It's okay. I have wisdom enough to understand that I don't have to deal with that. Considering the fact that I don't have to deal with it. That's just a waste of my time because right now my time is valuable. So now I have to waste time to make you unlearn something that you've now learned that is a detriment to you and me. Why do I have to put up with that? Why should I put up with that? I don't have to. So in a guy's mind is, why should I get, why should I buy you as a cow if you've been used or show me that you've been used? I'm not gonna buy the cow because it's pointless for me to buy the cow, especially if I know this guy before me was getting it for free. Well, I'll just keep, I'll come right behind him and get it for free. This is why guys do the way they do it that way. They've seen someone else already get it for free. I mean, think about it. You've been in traffic before. If you've driven in any major city, you've been in traffic before. All these little major cities I've been in, I've seen the mess happen. <laughs> Practically all of them when it's traffic. Traffic gets to going, and there's a shoulder lane over here. All it takes is for one little rascal to go on the other side of the shoulder, and then to, to bypass the traffic that's it. Next thing you know, you're going to see this one go, and you're going to see that one go. And then it's a whole line of them going down the side of the, emer of the emergency lane. Flying down it until a truck gets upset, and he decides he want to block them and cut them off. It's the same thing with you all. When one guy sees, oh, she, he got away with this. Oh, okay, I'm going to try it too. Well, what the world? Only a guy who's not going to try it is the last guy who come up and say, he, he he looking for a wife or whatever, and if you throw a little bit on that, he ain't something that he not used to, something he ain't never seen before, he going to buy into that, and then he going to be the sucker that married. That's just how it is. Whether you all want to like it or not, it's just how it is. And a lot of times, y'all don't be happy with the circle because... You've been so used to the other guys who got it for free. We're creatures of habit. So us being creatures of habit, it takes 30 days, a consistent 30 days to form a habit. It is hard to break a habit. We all understand this. This is why drug, people are addicted to drugs. People are addicted to pornography. People are addicted to overeating. People are addicted to gambling. Whatever the addiction is. It, they have to go through some type of therapy to, to undo the addiction. So, you got to understand, the addiction is a habit. So, if you have a habit and a history of, of allowing guys to get it for free, at some point or another, you're probably not going to be happy with the guy who finally doesn't get it for free. Especially if you haven't mature especially in age in that time period it's, it's going to be an issue and then you have to learn have to unlearn everything that you 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 learn so so as a guy getting it for free is easy why pay for it if you're going to willingly give it for free 
No. <laughs> There's the thing where, ah, oh, well, I'm going to make him wait and this and that. Guys, go find that information out, too. They inquire, too. They do that. We we do our detective work. We we trying to find out. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. She trying to make me wait. Man, okay. Then that's when you start getting upset. Well, you find out what is. He was going elsewhere to go get something, and then he was still dealing with you until you decide to cave in. Then you're mad because he found out your history. <laughs> like I said, with the cold car, we treat it like a car. Oh, oh okay. Put up the car facts. What does it say? Oh, this told me you you was in a nice you was in an accident. Oh, this told me way back when you was getting your back beat. You getting blown out. Oh, okay. You had a blowout. Uh, straight up. Well, who fixed it? Who was the previous owner? We're looking at that stuff. Whether you want to accept it or not, we're looking at it. Because if we, if, how can we lead properly if we don't look and get that information? Now, you, you, you got, you got this, this whole new generation, which is, uh, I don't even know what to say about it. some of these rascals out here. Don't even know how to change, change, change a tire. Let alone fix stuff on the car. It's like, well, of course, I can understand why these rascals don't, you can't, ain't do nothing. You brought prima donna, pretty Ricky or whatever you want to call it. Don't want to get your hands dirty. Like, <coughs> what you expect? <laughs> Y'all can get away with that mess with them. Then they, they don't know what to do because they don't, they weren't taught to do nothing. <coughs> but yeah, man, getting the getting the the milk for free is one thing. But then there's a whole nother lane with 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 why some actually do just want the milk for free, and that would be because, as I said before, relationships when it comes to being a man, it's like a man has to know how to farm. So, me being the man I am, I'm looking to see, all right, if I have, if I take you on as a cow and I buy you, I need to understand and know what I'm going to get from the cow. All right, let me run it down. All right, you as a cow, I can get calf. If I can get a calf, that means I can increase my revenue because now I have more, I have, now I have two. Or it could be a baby bull, which then makes it even worth more. So, hmm, I can get the cat, I can get a calf, I can get milk, milk can turn around and make me have butter, I can get cottage cheese, I can get regular cheese and any other form of dairy. And if I do any other form of dairy, what is that what what then is that that lead me to have? Oh, uh, okay. So if I know how to work dairy and I can do chef work. Hmm, I can start making dishes and sell them. A potato salad, macaroni and cheese, uh, coleslaw. All the different types of things that add more value to. But that's only a man, uh, only a man who understands and knows how to work every aspect of what you're bringing or what they can actually, not I wouldn't even say what you're bringing, what they know how to get out of you. Because you're just bringing you as a cow. <laughs> the the man has to turn around and know what he can actually do with all of the what the what you have to work with. See, that's 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 another reason why I say I don't deal with what you bring to the table. That's <laughs> that's 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 low level in my in my book. Because as a cow, you're not gonna know <laughs> that I can make cheese from you. You're not gonna know that I, I, you know that you generate milk, but you don't know all of the stuff I can create from milk. You don't know that oh, if I decided I wanted to just cut you off and kill you, that I can sell you for a big, uh, the numerous amounts of beef and food, and feed all kinds of people. But that would then defeat the purpose, and it's over with. But yeah. <laughs> There's so much I can actually do with you to actually benefit everything that's on my that's on my land, my table, my farm, whatever you want to call it, my atmosphere. I know how to do all that. But see, that comes from uh, training, studying, being disciplined. 
all that type of stuff. See, y'all, a lot of you all want leaders, but you didn't take that man to a possible father or a father figure to have me evaluate and then turn around and say, hey, whoa, whoa, wait, hold on, this guy, he, 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 he know how to make such and such out of you. Ah, uh, I think you might let's 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 look into this a little deeper here now. You see how that work? Like, oh, okay, yeah, but you know what? I I I because I used the milk with you, and then oh, I already had some other little stuff stashed on the side to where I knew how to I can take these other things I got over here grown on my farm. To, to, to where, like, all right, cool. I got all these ingredients over here to make a cake. Now that I add the milk to it, okay, now I got cake. Now, being a wise man, I'm going to write all this stuff down. Now I write it down. I can sell the cake, sell the recipe, do everything I need to do, all because you added milk to my <laughs> surrounding. And I did the work. See, that... that that's what happens when you deal with the actual guy who knows what you have, what, what, what's with you. Not so much what you have to offer, but what's with you, what comes with you. And then he's already done the homework. But then there's the part of if you decide you just want to be let everybody get the milk. Why would I invest? Why would I invest in you? Technically speaking. Would I invest in you? It would, it would, it would pretty much be like, mm, yeah, I'd invest into you, but it'd be short lived. It would be you would fall into the, the parameters of super old school, like at least a hundred plus years ago, where you'd be like the second, third wife concubine or something like that. Then, then you find the value right there. But you know, this new era we in, they, they, they try, they pretty much want to do away with that, that aspect. So. A lot of you find yourselves in the replacement part of what you now call I'm I'm just a side piece. <laughs> or or he cheating, which now he's 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 getting what he can get out of you because you've been passed around from farm to farm. Now let alone not even farm to farm, you've been passed around by poachers. So that aspect of 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 Buying the cow is 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 different from the guy who doesn't want to buy the cow. He just wants to get the milk. So there, there's two different types of cow, guys who are just taking the milk. The one who sees he can get it because you've been giving it like that. Then the other guy who just, he don't know what to do with you. <laughs> because he don't know all the stuff. All he know is milk. That's like somebody going outside, or no, not going outside, going on a piece of land, and they see it's trees on it. It's nothing but trees on that land. They're thinking, oh, okay, well, I just need the tree for whatever it is type of thing they're about to use, whether it would just be for a chair, or I, or I specialize in sticks, or I specialize in rakes, and I just need them for the rakes. That's all they're going to use that land for and use it up for just making rakes when they could actually like all right i divide this section up into rakes i know how much i got this much for rakes okay cool but you know what there's mushrooms growing on my land oh i, I got mushrooms on the, i can turn around and sell those mushrooms see that's a whole lot of stuff you can actually do that you know what after i finish the finishing doing certain things i can take portion of this land and use it as a development i can use this as part of the land for airbnb it's so much. See, that's when you, your mind goes further. Oh, I can sell this. Well, you know what? Such and such company makes paper. I know they need the leads to make paper, so I'll sell leads, blah, blah, blah. It's so much you can do. But if a guy has never been taught and trained in, to do that, you can't maximize. So a lot of you all want to be maximized and think you're a queen, but depending upon the guy, you can't be maximized. So what ended up happening, it's easy for you all to get used and abused. This is, and this is why I say, I know a lot of women get mad when I say you all are easy, but you technically all are easy. It's, it's really easy. It's really easy to fall in the trick bag. 
it's, e it's real easy to, to fall and get got because like I, I think I said on the video before I got I got I got a thousand dollars worth of paint with easel uh, canvases and I remember doing the early stages of, of, of the pandemic <laughs> and I say oh you know what uh, how you feel about uh paint sip oh you yeah let's do a paint sip. I'm like oh, okay well I got plenty of paint you want to bring the wine you know what I'm saying bring your favorite wine I'll supply you with the paint man how many it was ridiculous of how many yeses <laughs> I got with that and you still can get a yes with that because a lot of you all are in this kick to where you want to do the whole pay and sip thing. Y'all love y'all wine. So uh, it cost me $1,000 to do that. And if I just, that it cost me $1,000 and I got a ton of paint. I could, I got probably enough paint to last quite a few years. It cost me a thousand bucks. And if I just show up with paint, you bring the wine and we don't have to have no food or anything else. You see how easy that setup is? <laughs> because y'all love it. On top of the fact, all I got to do is say, yeah, invite a couple of your girls. You know, y'all sit and chill, you know what I'm saying? Blah, blah, blah. I teach you how to paint. Man, that trap is so smooth. <laughs> it's so smooth. Which is why I say it's easy. It's easy for you to get got. To be the the one cow giving up the milk for free. You don't even realize that you just got set up. <laughs> you don't. So, yeah, this, I I I'm I'm just gonna put it frank. Y'all need a guy around. You need a guy around to actually let you know the intentions of a positive. He can see the intentions of a guy. Because if he, if you all are not going to be able to see it, you're just not. I don't care how how verse you think you are. Uh -huh. As as what was that? The golden compass, or uh, what the one bear says, Lila, I will now call you the silver tongue because <laughs> her tongue was so smooth. <laughs> That's dudes. A lot of us can just. Smooth our way right on in, like it's. I can't believe it's not butter. You just slid right on in, and you like, did he? Did I? Yep, God. <laughs> and it's just, it's just, it's just that easy. It really is just that easy. It's, it's so many, it's so many scenarios I can actually tell, but I'm not gonna tell them all on here. Um, just know that. If we wanted to get the milk for free, we can't. And those who don't want to get the milk for free, <coughs> and we want to actually, we're actually out here looking to buy a cow because buying a cow is profitable. And unfortunately, if you buy plenty of cows, it makes it even more profitable. <laughs> but that, that goes off into polygyny and all that other stuff and y'all don't like that topic so I'm gonna leave that alone <laughs> I'm gonna leave that alone man I'm definitely gonna leave that alone but uh yes get you if you if your father's not alive condolences to you on that it's unfortunate but you need a good male figure to actually evaluate um, the males that come in, that you come across, so they can they can evaluate their intentions. Because if you want to be out here and have a hot girl summer, and you want to be able to hit a rack up body counts by all means, but please don't complain about him getting the milk for free, and nobody want to buy you, and the ones that come after him are all looking like, okay, what I'm gonna buy for you was giving it to him for free. That history. <laughs> it's going to show and when it comes to that some dudes a lot of dudes out here they're going to check the car facts but they're going to tell you your body count don't matter but they still checking the car facts to see if you was giving it up for free and if you was giving it up for free they're going to try to get the same thing that's when 
technically, per se, your body count does matter, but it don't matter. It's mattering in the fact that your body count matters because it's telling them the car facts that you're going to get it for free. So, I, I mean, I talked about this in, in a sense on, on the body count. Your body count definitely matters because it's going to matter one way or another. It's saying either you're giving the milk for free or I don't want the milk. One of the two. So if you're giving the milk for free, okay, I, I'm, I'm good with you having a body count. Matter of fact, the higher the better. That means that I just I, it's even easier for me to get the milk for free. Why buy the cow when I know the Carfax is showing this milk for free? <laughs> Hopefully it's never ending milk. Oh, okay, cool. Sign me up. That's exactly how dudes looking at that. <laughs> I don't know. I know that I know somebody say that's sacrilegious with my mind is instantly. Hey, I would turn I told y'all I was born to turn. Oh my god. My mind instantly went to sign me up oh, all the <laughs> The Christian Jubilee. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> I don't know why my mind went there, but it did. <laughs> but anyway, well, they so try to be on a Jubilee. It ain't a Christian one. They try to be on that choo choo train Jubilee. <laughs> Mission accomplished. But anyway. <laughs> Uh, any, anyway, uh, yeah, hopefully you, uh, hopefully you, you have your milk preserved, uh, hopefully, well, if it's powdered milk, more power to you, but, yeah, even in that, as, as a guy who know, turn around and make powdered milk, it's so many things you can do, man, it's, it really is so many things you can do. And even if you did kill the cow, you can skin that cow, that cow, cow fabric. But, you know, make more calves. And them calves will turn around and produce. Eventually grow up and produce more milk and you can do that too. But, man, it's really on you all. It's, it's really on you all to make that decision if you want to get that milk for free. Or if you want to be bought, but you're gonna definitely need a uh, 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 outstanding male, if you if it's not your father or your father, to actually guide you along this journey. Um, so whether you're giving the milk up for free or he's coming along checking your checking your car facts to see if you've been giving it up for free, do understand that this is how we as males move. That's how we're gonna move. Uh, it may be unfortunate and maybe not it may be something you don't want to hear but the harsh reality is if that milk is for free we're going to try to get it some kind of way and we ain't. and at this point well i was going to say we're not trying to steal it but if for some reason there's some goofies out here trying to steal it even celebrities like why did you even try to steal it now you now you finna go to jail for doing something stupid <laughs> like really she would have gave it to you. For, she gave it over here to Ray Ray for free. Like, dude, what is you doing? <laughs> like, bruh. But anyway, it's Will My Craven. Uh, hopefully, uh, you become a high value cow. <laughs> and not in the large sense. You know, when somebody said, oh, you call me a cow, I'm fat. No, 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 no. We just talking about characteristics of the cow. We ain't talking about the size of the cow. But think about it. The size of the cow does make a difference. I mean, you you when that cow is actually a bit bigger, you know, it's more profitable for you. You think, oh that cow's healthy. So you 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 have to build up as well yourself. So if you ain't got nothing you can build up with and we we gonna we're gonna bypass you to the like oh that cow, that cow there. Um that kind of look a little scarce. I don't know if I want that. But again, I'll take you to the Bible. You know, because that's part of my background with Jacob. Oh, and I'm, I'm going to do a little dealings with that whole story too. Because there's a lot in that story that people just totally overlook. But Jacob is another one of those ones who's a dude that's on point. To where 
He was smart enough to get Laban. And he said, no, I want the spotted calves. I want, I want that calf and that calf. The, all the ones that didn't look like they was prominent. He was smart enough to take those and he grew them. And made he turned that he turned what Laban had into wealth. So it's a difference. <laughs> and if and see, not not now I'm hitting something that I said I wasn't gonna go into. But see, you gotta have a Laban too. You, you gotta have a father that's like Laban, like, I right, I know my daughters need such and such and such. And this dude I see, I can tell. That's just why he didn't want him to leave. Because his because Rachel and Leah's father saw something in him. That said, this dude is doing something and I can trust him. I don't want him leaving because he's being a blessing. He's multiplying. He's putting in the work. And he's good for me and my daughters. Because he understood that this, this individual had enough in him to, to go beyond just the milk. And you, you all need a Laban type guy like oh Laban tricked him. No, nah, he well, yeah, he did, but he, he wanted to keep him there. It wasn't really about the trickery and it was really to keep him there because the what he was capable of doing. He kept growing his stuff. He he could see that. He knew his growing he was growing his stuff, growing everything that he had. He was he was blessing his whole entire atmosphere. So he wanted to keep him there. Who wouldn't? If somebody came into your life. And all you see, all you see in them steady adding and adding and building and building and multiplying and multiplying. You're not gonna want. Are you not gonna want them to stick around? Of course you are. You're being blessed by it. So hopefully you all have some labors in your life to be able to evaluate the the Jacob and 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 you know you see the Jacobs and he comes along and he can maximize who you are. And that's a whole nother thing, which kind of correlates with another video that I not I recorded not long ago, uh, which I just forgot the name of it. But yeah, <laughs> oh boy, what the heck did I just do? Oh, I don't need a man. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to think of it, I forget where I was actually gonna say with that. But whatever. I mean, that's telling me time to be done. Uh, yeah, looking at time, it's time to be done. So, with that being said, it's Will my craving. Hit that like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. If you like to leave a comment, we'll be gladly appreciated. But most of all, strive to be better. Strive to get control of yourself, which is one of my biggest things. I want you all to be able to get control of yourself, get control of your emotions. Pay attention. Always pay attention. Something the line I always tell my son all the time. Always pay attention. And do your best to remember all these things work hand in hand. And with that being said, I'm out. Have a good one. Peace.